there seems to be a resistance to our work, to mediation, to negotiation in this culture. Uh, that as much as it's necessary, a profound need for it, uh, an underwhelming demand. Well, I mean, I, for the length of my career, the, the need, as you and I perceived it, has always outstripped the demand. <laughs> we always thought people needed us more than they thought they needed us. Right. But that's us. I mean, that's our point of view, first of right. all. Okay. Right. And we're a little entrepreneurial, and we're also convinced. Right. Okay. So we have to take ourselves with a grain of salt here, and first of all, on that point. Um, but I actually think that, uh, with some exceptions, that's eroding. I mean, I really think that um, we are becoming more and more conventional. Now, I think that's some, I mean, a matter of convention. And, and I think that's because, um, and you know, some of us might regret this, we are less and less radical. We are gotten to be, to fit into the system better. Okay, now some of the early entrants in the field and I am, don't think of myself this way, really thought we were going to change society in some, you know, it was really a sort of a counterculture notion. And I think that flopped, okay? Um, but um, the fact that that flopped doesn't really mean that it isn't going to be a growing component of dispute resolution mm -hmm. going into the future. I think that it clearly is for a whole variety of reasons, some of which are philosophically appealing, some of which are just practical reasons. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that um, there's going to be, uh, that, there's go that there's growth in the field, that the growth is going to continue, mm -hmm. and, but that it isn't necessarily going to look like some sort of outside the box or radical factor.